come on, this way. This way. Down here, come on. Come on, come on. Nice. There's like a beach over here. Swimming area. I should have brought some bait. Or got some lures. Because it looks like it'd be a good place to throw right off of these rocks right there. Oh man. Watch out, Yuki. Don't you fall. No, get back. Come on. Mm, up this way. Oh, I see. This, this used to be a picnic table. And now it's down there. Got washed out underneath it, probably. But it would have been a heck of a place right here, man. It would be good to have a picnic right here. You got a tree with shade. This is Lake Thunderbird. It's, uh, I want to say approximately 40 miles south of Oklahoma City. It's actually east of the town of Norman. The road that we came in on is called Alameda, and it went, it's like in the middle of Norman, so. I don't know how many miles it is east of Norman, but it's, uh, I'll put it in the description later on. Whoa. You gotta watch out here, there's a cliff. Guess you really gotta watch out at nighttime. Um, used to be when you come out here swimming at the swimming area and stuff, you get in there, if you had a t-shirt on, a white t-shirt, when you got out, it'd be like like dirt red. <laughs> and so a lot of people started calling this place Dirty Bird. Dirty Bird. <laughs> Let's go up here, Yuki. Yeah, that's a pretty cool sight. You got a little grill right here. You got a fire pit. You got a place to hang a lantern. You got the dump right there. Concrete table. And up on that hill right over there is the restrooms. It looks like showers too. Pretty cool. Yeah, see, here's some sites, like a back end site right there. Here's another one right here. Huh. I wonder how much they cost. It'd be cool to spend the night out here one night or so. See? Well, there's some geese down there. I don't know if you can see it. Right there in the water. <laughs> Don't let Yuki see. Come on. Come on down here.
it's hard to see on the back of the screen to see what I'm getting, but I'm trying to get the shoreline with the, with the red rocks and stuff. And there's the, the ducks. You should be able to see them now. Or swans, or geese, whatever they are. Looks like Canadian. Let's see if Yuki spotted them. Yuki's like, I see them, but I can't get them. Huh? Look, Yuki. With water and electric, probably 50, 50 amp service, it looks like. And over on the other side over there, there's a dumpster. That's real nice here. Come on. Come on, Yuki, we're going this way. Let me turn the mic down because I'm huffing and puffing. <laughs> <laughs> right here was the area that I was walking right at the edge in. <clears throat> Definitely in the woods. the restrooms I didn't go inside but they look decent from the outside well it says showers let's see oh yeah here's the shower <laughs> That's cool, they're like individual ones that open from the outside. Oh, all these are showers. Oh, here's your restroom right here. Oh, that's another shower. Okay, I get it. So one side is the shower house and the other side is the, the restroom. That's cool. See, now you're freezing, huh? She jumped in, she jumped in right there and just went all the way in and was like looking at me like, Dad, what do I do? <laughs> I told you to stay out of there. Crap, Yuki. We gotta go get dry, huh? Shake your shake yourself. Get dry. Here's a good place to put a tent if you weren't scared of waking up in the night and falling over this cliff here. <laughs> No, you can stay back. Stay back. It's about what? 20 feet down there. Holy shit. I'm going to show you guys one thing about Oklahoma and tornadoes. Okay? I don't know when this was, but check this out. That is like the middle of a a roof or or siding or something and that thing went flying through the air and it is wedged right there look at that incredible huh look at that holy crap look at that it's got it's wrapped around pretty much two trees but and the main part of it is in this tree, but it's also wrapped around that other one. Wow, incredible. Shoot, if you were standing around, that thing flew through the air and hit you, that would be all, she, all you wrote, man. We're just chomping through the woods, clomping. I gotta head back real soon because Yuki's totally soaked. I gotta take my shirt off and rub her down and try to get her dry so she doesn't get sick.
Let's record it so we can stop it and read it later. Here's a reserved handicap place. This is nice. They got a, no a lot of nice areas out here that make it easily accessible to the water, which is right down there. Oklahoma City or Norman or Oklahoma, whoever did it, made this place right. It's good to see. And it looks like it's well kept. I haven't seen too much trash and stuff. So that's good too. It's a it's a huge lake and let me see. Let's see if I can zoom in on the dam back there. See way behind those trees, way back there. That's the dam. It's like 140 feet high and I don't know how long. It's, it goes way across so you can dri actually drive vehicles across it so it's a huge dam. Keep an eye on Yuki because there's a there's some ducks right over there to the right. I don't want her to charge. <laughs> yeah, I have a video somewhere where we're at we're at uh, Midwest City by the dog park and we're getting out of the car and she starts growling. I go, "You better be careful. Those they're going to be mean and chase after you." And then when I said that, she charged and I lost grip and she went chasing after one duck. And, made him go into the water. <laughs> That's right, Yuki's here, buddy. You better get over there. <laughs> and they got all these Real nice little fishing piers. And this one's covered, so this one's really nice, man. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. Come on, Yuki. Alright, this one has a thing in the middle too. So you can come out here, you're covered from the elements, and you can just drop a line right here. That is cool. But a lot of people come here for crappie like that. <laughs> the marina's right over here. So I'm sure that they have like some kind of bait store where you can get minnows or something. Pretty cool. Wind is picking up a little bit, but oh my god, it's so a massive lake, it looks like an ocean. <laughs> yeah, if you look this way, you go that way, then you're you're on the other side of the lake over there, you're you're a lot closer to, to Shawnee where my brother lives. And then this would be north right here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here's a good picture of the shoreline. See how the shoreline is all big and rocky and has some good places for fish. In fact, I bet you this one over here, this place right over here, right there off of those rocks, I bet you that'd be a good place to go noodling for somebody. Not me. You're not going to get me to stick my hand down there in the catfish's mouth. Awesome stuff, man. That's right. 
There's a nice little restroom and a picnic area right by the marina. We wanted to stop and see the boats and stuff. If that's okay with you. <laughs> quiet day today. Here we go. Cool. No, if you don't go over there, that's a cliff. Some nice houseboats out here. Check them out, man. Look at this. Look at this blue one. It's got to be bigger than a tiny house. Looks bigger than an RV. So does that one. Wow, there's a whole line of them, man. Let me zoom them in on them. Awesome. Okay, stay, stay. I don't I don't want to go over near the edge of that rock there. Yeah, cool man. This is a good point right here, Indian Point. If you want to just park for a little while and then you park right here, there's restrooms, picnic tables. And back in those woods, there's a lot of trails to walk around. So remember that. Indian Point. Pretty nice. And that's how I see it.